DC Radio 97.8 Yes, 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 it's LDC Radio 97.8 FM on your dial. And as usual, Vital Techniques and MCP, and we'd like to bring a special guest into the hot seat. This week, we're joined by a special guest representing Leeds with releases across major labels, including Bite This and Crewcast. It's man like Livesy. <laughs> How you doing, fella? You all good? Yeah, I'm good, mate. What about you? Yeah, very well, very well. Keeping things busy in these crazy, crazy times. Yeah. How about yourself? Yeah, keeping keeping well, just trying to keep busy as I can, making as many tunes and whatnot. Good, good. We've got to keep things moving, innit? Even during the madness. Yeah, literally. So you've been killing the scene in Leeds for a long time. You've been a resident DJ at nights across the city for years. How did the transition from producing and pushing out your own music first begin? Uh, well, I was always producing to start off with, but... I was always like, I felt like I was more confident in my DJing and then obviously as uh, time progressed I kind of started to find my own sound with production and started gaining more confidence producing so then yeah. it kind of made sense because I was doing the residency stuff for years so it kind of made sense to kind of transition from that to the artist stuff and it was just like a new challenge as well. Yeah, yeah, always good to keep busy as well. And playing a set as well, it's always good to be able to play your own music. We all love having that angle. Yeah, definitely. Like, there's no better feeling than just, especially if you made something that day and you go to a gig and you drop it and it gets a good reaction. Yeah, the like, exclusives. Yeah, oh, it's always yeah, a good you know feeling. I mean. There's no feeling like it. And I've got to say as well, on a personal level, your production has proper levelled up over the years, man. It's been good to see and watch. Yeah, thank you, man. I mean, you boys released some of our first stuff, so, you know what I mean? Big yeah, yeah, going guys. back. Yeah, man, good yeah, few yeah. years ago now. So, Come yeah. a long way from there, man. It's been noticed, so big up. Yeah, big uh, up. As we mentioned in the start, you've got some releases out on some major labels, including Crewcast, which has no doubt helped your career move forwards. But more recently, you had a release titled Noisy. Noisy Places, dropped with the American label Bite This, owned by the world-renowned DJ Jaws. Massive achievement. How did that link up with him come about? Uh, well, I made, I made that Noisy Places tune about... I don't even know where we're on now. Must have made that tune like two and a half year ago. <laughs> we and always end up sitting on them for a yeah, while. Yeah, you know it? what I mean? And then uh, the label got in touch through my manager. I think my manager sent the label some stuff and then like, it, from there it was like a conversation we're happening for about a year and then finally got dropped with a uh, sweet spot, which is like the B-side. Wicked, wicked. Must have been proud of that one, man. Big achievement. Yeah, it was good to be fair, like just to get recognition off someone like that. I wanted to release my tune as a single as well, which, uh, you know what I mean? Big, big, big feeling. Yes, Livesy. Hey, hey. Hey. How you doing, lad? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, mate. What about you? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Long time no see. I know, long time, long time no squeak. No see. So thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, no, my pleasure. Um, I know we touched on your uh, DJ sets, uh, and I know you, you bring a lot of technicality into your DJ sets, yeah, which I yeah. think sort of sets you apart from other DJs, and it shows how much sort of time and energy you put into the, the DJ side of things. How are you finding it with sort of no gigs and no DJing at the minute? Oh, it's, it's awful. I've been, <laughs> been scratching at walls. Uh, nah, it's been, to, to be fair, I've just been concentrating on producing because it's like, I suppose that's the good thing with us. Like, we've got two sides to it. We've got the introverted side where we can just sweat out studio all day. And then we've got the extrovert, yeah. We've got the extroverted side, which is the DJing. So obviously I've just gone in kind of full introvert mode now and just been trying to make as many productions as I can. Yeah, big up, man. Have you done many sort of live streams or anything, sort of, uh, any videos or anything? I did, I've done, a, I think I've done like two uh, towards the start of lockdown. So I did, I did like two fundraisers, but that were about it, to be fair. Like Zuckerberg's bringing to an end, isn't he? Is he actually? Yeah, yeah, he's locking him off from the 1st of October. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never. The lizard man. <laughs> you heard it here first. Um, so looking back at a beautiful wonderful magical time when we all played gigs every single weekend and um, you had your first headline tour uh, back end uh, of last year uh, how did that feel any sort of standout shows from that probably uh, I mean obviously Leeds that was Leeds because Leeds, Leeds. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Um, I did it uh, at Wire a club called Wire Big Up Wire um, I used to have a residency there for a garage night um, so it kind of just made sense to do it there because it's kind of like a small intimate uh, venue and uh, yeah, it was just like, obviously when you've got all your mates there supporting, because when you get to this age, obviously everyone's working, they've got their own stuff. So yeah. for a big event like that, everyone booked it off and it was just like, it was just, yeah, unreal. Oh, big up. So yeah, massive respect to, to everyone that caught that. Uh, and you announced that supporting Example uh, on his tour sort of earlier on this year. Huge achievement being called up on that one. Um, I mean, he's an artist that's sort of recognised worldwide in the music scene and in general as well. Um, I mean, did all the shows manage to go ahead given the pandemic? 
<laughs> the pandemic. <laughs> uh, yeah, to be fair, it was weird though because like every show we do, like two or three days later, it'd be like so say if, when we went to um, Belfast and Cardiff. It was like, we were back in UK after, and it was like, oh, Belfast and Cardiff have coronavirus, this and that. So it was like, it was following us. I'm not even like joking, just, bro. We'll be at tall, it's like, it's following us, this. Just bringing it back for boys. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big. And did you have a good time anyway on the uh, on Yeah, the it was an unreal time, to be fair. Uh, yeah, it was just mad, because obviously, I did all like, like three weeks of touring, then uh, I had like a week of kind of freedom, and then bang straight into lockdown so we were like from one extreme to other <laughs> yeah man massive achievement so if we look at the rest of the year then rest of 2020 there's only a couple of months left so we'll have to start looking forward into 2021 as well soon <laughs> given how uh, how poor this year has been for most people so what have you got lined up in terms of releases have you got any socially distanced gigs coming out anything <laughs> along those lines that you've got uh, I've got no gigs planned yet. Um, I've just got a load of music. I must be sat on about like 40 tracks at moments. Yeah. So uh, I'm just working on this like, I won't call it like a concept album. It's like almost like a mix. So it's going to be like 40, 50 tracks into like one hour, maybe hour and a half mix. That all They're all kind of produced together. So it's going to be like one big song. And then from there, I'm going to start releasing EPs um, with the songs individually, kind of. Yeah, man. Idea. Got a lot lined up. You've been busy during lockdown then? <laughs> yeah, I've just been sweating it out like a big nerd. Yeah. On the thing to be doing. Cool nerds. <laughs> cool nerds, yeah. So before we get into Peen's mystery question, so Ooh. if you want to push your socials for all the listeners locked in, LDC Radio 97.8 FM, where can they find you on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff? So my socials are at LiveCUK, which is L-I-V-S-E-Y-U-K, and that's just the same for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Big up, so make sure you check him out, listeners. So, Livesy, got a question for you. Here we go. And, um, Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's a new one for you. So, Livesy, if you had the chance to play with or go back to back with any DJ or artist, past or present, who would that be? Ooh, Ooh indeed. Oh, I don't even know, you know. Um, Put you on the spot with that one. You have, you have. Are we an MC, a rapper on your set? Pro- probably uh, Andy C. Andy C. Yeah, Andy C. Yeah. Andy C. Yeah, Andy C. Yeah. Andy C. Yeah. Andy C. Yeah. Andy C. yeah, probably Andy Big C. Big up. Big up. So maybe sometime in the future. <laughs> That's it. So massive, massive respect for joining us, Livesy. Uh, let's get into it now. Vital Techniques MCP 97.8 FM. And we got man like Livesy in the guest mix. Live from Leeds. LDC Radio 97.8. In the mix, 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 mix.
Purify. 